you're having an argument with your partner and you say, you're a stupid person. So what are they supposed to do? What are they going to do when you say that? They're going to cry, like if you mean it. They're going to get angry if you mean it. And they're not going to like you very much. Those are fighting words. So don't do that unless you want to have a fight. So then you might say, well, what would you do instead? And so let's say you come home and your person is watching TV and you were kind of hoping they'd greet you at the door. You shouldn't break down into tears and say, you're a stupid person. You should say, I have this peculiarity, and that is that when I come home, I don't have enough confidence to just be happy. I would like you to come and say, just shut the TV off for two minutes, come to the front door and say, hello. And then you can go back and watch your TV. Would it be okay if you did that? And they'll think, they'll probably do it. And so, but the thing is, is you got to specify the routine that you want transformed at the highest possible level of resolution. And you want, to, you want to recommend the minimal necessary change that will satisfy you. So you can't say, if you loved me, you'd know how to greet me at the door. Ha, not helpful, because they're stupid. <laughs> right, and so are you. So you have to spell it out. It's like, what do you want exactly? What would make you satisfied? And then you have to have your person like, grudgingly practice that a few times and you have to let them do it very badly and also in a bad temper and then you have to reward them for it and then maybe three months later they'll do it properly so you need to know that because that's what people are like it's very hard for them to learn new things and they're very resistant to it but they're very responsive to reward this is partly what bf skinner figured out so when he was training rats and he wanted the rat to do something, maybe he was gonna train the rat to climb a, a little ladder. So he put the ladder in the cage and the rat would just run around doing rat things and it would put its hand on the first rung. Skinner would give it a pellet, does it again, bang, pellet. Well, soon the rat is just going like this, right? Now, the problem with that is you have to be patient. You have to wait till the rat does what you want. Okay, that's more relationship advice. Wait till the rat does what you want and then reward it. Oh, you watch through the day, and when your partner does something that's good, say, man, that was good, or something like that. You can be inventive, and then they'll do it more. And if you do that a whole bunch, like for a year, they'll be doing things that are good for you just all the time.